In recent years, blockchain technology has evolved far beyond just cryptocurrencies. It has started to revolutionize industries, reshaping how we think about ownership, collaboration, and infrastructure. And one of the most promising developments in this space is DPIN, which stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Networks. There's quite a bit to say about these new developments, and we'll be exploring them in this video. So make sure to lock in. So crypto! Your daily dose of the best crypto yeah. content. Up to date, trending news. So yeah. crypto, yeah. what it do? Yeah. Blockchain review. Ooh. It's a bull run move. They the greatest. Ooh. Check out SueCryptos.com. To start with, what exactly is DeepIn about? Well, broadly speaking, it's a new approach to building and managing physical systems like wireless networks, data storage, and energy grids. You see, these infrastructures and resources are typically centralized. A single company or government owns and operates the systems that we all rely on for things like internet access, electricity, transportation, and the like. Now, there's no denying the fact that this system of ownership and operation has been working for the most part. After all, we've even seen improvements and innovations in those areas. However, there's also no denying the fact that few people controlling such important aspects of human society is almost never a completely good idea. Not only does monopoly suffocate innovation as much as possible, it also makes the services provided really expensive, and we can all testify to this. Deepin is supposed to be an attempt to dismantle the monopoly. It relies on a decentralized network of contributors who provide small portions of the infrastructure. These contributors are regular people who are just sharing their resources like storage space, internet connectivity, or sensor data with other people, thereby creating a network. In return, these contributors receive incentives, typically in the form of cryptocurrency or tokens. So basically, Deepin is an open network created by the very people that use and benefit from it. There are no intermediaries needed, as it runs on blockchain, and there is no central authority. The scope of what physical infrastructure and resources can be shared and used on Deepin is quite versatile and can include basically any operating system on an industrial scale, and even in our everyday lives. Now, how does Deepin work? As was mentioned earlier, at the heart of Deepin is blockchain technology. Blockchains are digital ledgers that keep track of transactions in a secure, transparent, and tamper-proof way. They are open access, in that anyone can operate a slice of them, but also secure because operations are encrypted. As a result, anyone can contribute to a DPIN system and get fair compensation for their contributions. Here's how a DPIN network typically operates. First things first, participants join the network. This network is an interconnection of physical hardware, decentralized networks, and crypto rewards that are supported by security protocols and smart contracts. Joining the network is really just about contributing a resource and this could be anything like a Wi-Fi hotspot, extra hard drive space, or electricity from solar panels. These donations are made through tokenized economic models that have been written into the network's code. Blockchain makes it so that nobody needs permission to share or use any of these resources. It also tracks the contributions, who contributes what and how much, so that compensations are accurately distributed. And then the next step is for contributors to receive their compensation. Everything happens automatically and quickly, and people can contribute or use resources as often and for as long as they want. What's more, smart contracts make it impossible for providers to withdraw services before the end of the contract period. An important aspect of Deepin is its security. It relies on robust security protocols and encryption to safeguard sensitive information like infrastructure configurations and operational data. This way, there are significantly reduced chances of unauthorized access or tampering, ensuring the integrity and, by extension, longevity of the shared infrastructure. There are typically two types of DPIN, physical resource networks, or PRNs, and digital resource networks, or DRNs. The PRNs cover tangible assets like hardware and infrastructure, while the DRN rely on more digital resources like data and software. This is how DPINs manage to be as versatile as they are. Why is DPIN important? So, we've said quite a bit about what DPIN is and how it works. But if we already have a system that works, why exactly do we need DPIN? Why is DPIN important? 
Well, there are quite a number of reasons why this new development is not only useful, but actually important. First off, it is supposed to make these resources considerably less expensive for a number of reasons. With Deepin, the building and maintenance of resources and infrastructure is spread across many participants, which should automatically make things less expensive than they would be if just a few people were doing all the lifting. And because building and maintenance is less expensive, the cost should also be significantly less for the end users. Attached to this reduced cost advantage is the fact that Deepin has the potential to get certain resources and infrastructure into places where traditional systems are too expensive or impractical. For instance, it could get internet access into certain rural areas that still don't have it for whatever reason, and the fact that no permission is needed means that things can happen relatively quickly. Additionally, Deepin opens the door for more people to experiment and contribute, allowing for a lot more creativity and innovation. And we can be sure that the creativity and innovation will not be stifled because there is no one centralized authority calling all the shots. Decision making is decentralized, which basically means that people can create whatever they want, provided it's not harmful. And sure, that could pose its own problem, which we'll get into later in the video. But there are upsides to it. Another reason why Deepin is important is that it ensures that all of the services being rendered on the network continue to be accessible even during disruptions or crises. In the same way that people should still have access to their cryptocurrencies, regardless of what's going on with their country or its economy, people should still have access to resources shared on Deepin, provided people keep sharing. Deepin also aligns with the values of sustainability and inclusivity because the networks are built collaboratively. They can adapt to local needs and avoid the inefficiencies of one-size-fits-all solutions. Real-world examples of Deepin Helium Network Helium is a decentralized wireless network of IoT, or Internet of Things, devices. Participants set up small devices called hotspots, which provide network coverage in exchange for Helium tokens, or HNT. There's also the mobile token that is burnt to power Helium's 5G project. This creates a low-cost global network without relying on telecom giants. Filecoin Filecoin is a decentralized storage solution provider, which means that it provides users with storage space on demand. So instead of saving files on a single company's servers, users can store data on computers all over the world. The stored data is secure, and users only have to pay a small amount of money to get access to a storage space. Meanwhile, those who are sharing their storage space earn some crypto for their effort. Hive Mapper Internet access and computer storage are not the only services offered on Deepin, though. There's also decentralized mapping, which is what HiveMapper is trying to build. The idea is to build a crowdsourced map with a lot of help from the community. To contribute, you should be able to either use HiveMapper's dashcam to collect mapping data while driving or provide manual mapping resources. The end result is supposed to be a map that is constantly up to date, while the contributors get honey tokens based on the areas they cover. Energy Web Token Energy Web is also quite unique as it focuses on decentralized energy grids. The aim is to build a cleaner energy system by democratizing and incentivizing it. And Energy Web does this by allowing individuals with renewable energy sources, like solar panels, to sell their excess electricity directly to others in their community. The challenges ahead. While there is a lot of good that can come from Deepin, there's no denying the fact that there are also a number of challenges to the system becoming a wider reality. And when we're discussing a system that runs on blockchain, you can expect the challenges of its adoption to be similar to those of other blockchain projects. Regulation. The big one, of course, has to do with regulation. Regulatory frameworks for the crypto industry are still very murky in many countries, and many regular people still do not completely trust it probably because of the lack of regulation. As a result, many might be unwilling to adopt or invest in Deepin. On the flip side, there's also the potential for overregulation, which is the fear that many proponents of cryptocurrency and blockchain have. Overly restrictive policies could stifle innovation as they take away one of the biggest draws of a decentralized network, the lack of governmental oversight. Scalability could also present a challenge as Deepin networks continue to grow and serve larger user bases the growth could present more of a burden for the system. They'd be pressured to ensure that the thousands or even millions of transactions are processed quickly and efficiently, as slow or inconsistent performance could deter users from joining. 
there'd also be a need for efficient consensus protocols to validate contributions and transactions without delays or excessive energy consumption. Awareness. Many people are still unaware of the whole blockchain landscape and how it works. Deepin just adds a whole new layer of things that need to be learned. If many people will join the Deepin, whether as contributors or users, they need to understand and be able to navigate the system, hence the need for awareness. There's also a need to do some damage control because there's already a lot of misinformation and confusion surrounding blockchain technology. Maybe if people had their fears properly addressed, they would be more willing to get on board the deep in ship. Competition from centralized systems. The fact that there are established companies with centralized systems that have significant resources and market dominance would also pose a challenge for the wide adoption of deep in. Many people have the why fix what's not broken mentality. So it might take a lot of doing to get people to make the switch from an established system that works to a growing one, especially one that is not regulated, even if it might be better. Despite these hurdles, deepens potential to reshape industries, empower communities, and democratize access to resources makes it a technology worth watching. And as projects continue to grow and evolve, they have the potential to make our world more connected, sustainable, and inclusive. Whether it's through decentralized wireless networks, peer-to-peer -peer energy sharing, or community-driven mapping, Deepin offers a glimpse into the future of collaboration and technology. As we've explored, Deepin has the potential to revolutionize how we think about infrastructure, collaboration, and resource sharing. It represents a bold step toward a more decentralized, sustainable, and inclusive future. But what do you think? Could Deepin truly replace centralized systems, or will the challenges hold it back from reaching its full potential? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this exploration insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Secryptos channel for more deep dives into the fascinating world of blockchain and beyond. Your support keeps us exploring the tech of tomorrow today.